Hey guys, it's Chantel. Today I want to talk about the Power Wedge from Malibu and Axis. I want to talk about how to use it, why to use it, and when to use it. So the Power Wedge is essentially a hydrofoil that is going to drop down and create some drag at the back of the boat and it simulates putting more ballast inside the boat. So when it's in its max drag position, it's going to be simulating up to 1,500 pounds of ballast, which is massive. You're not taking up any of your storage space with lead, with ballast bags, more people, anything like that. You can get an awesome wake just by dropping the wedge and having it in one of its max drag, drag positions. Not only do you have all your plug and play bags and you have your hard tanks, but using the wedge you can really maximize what kind of wake you can get no matter how many people you have in the boat. Another cool thing, and this is maybe one of my favorite features, is because it has all of those different levels and settings, you can totally transform the wake from uh, somebody who's 60 pounds and does not need a lot of push, somebody who is 250 pounds and does need a lot of push. So for somebody who's a beginner or somebody who's really, really little, lift mode is awesome. It's negative 500 pounds of ballast. I don't have to dump any of the weight that's inside the boat or make people move or anything. And I can make this weight really, really manageable as somebody is just learning. And it's not gonna be pushing them into the swim platform. It's not gonna just be shooting them forward and they can't control it or they constantly have to be on their back brake foot. Um, and then say your next rider is triple that size and you want something that does have a lot of push you want something that is really steep and has a lot of um, just a lot of power behind it you're just going to change where the wedge is and you have a completely different weight you don't have to uh, add ballast you don't have to add people you can totally transform it just on the fly Malibu and Axis kind of show the wedge differently. So when you have a power wedge on an Axis, it's gonna be settings uh, in stowed, and then lift mode, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then up into stow. With Malibu, they actually show you uh, the different shapes of the wake that you can get on the touch screen. So you can just pick, okay, I want that, and it's gonna go there. So with Axis, you're actually gonna scroll through the numbers to get to the number that you want, and with Malibu, it's you just pick what shape of wake you're looking for, and it's gonna go there. When you're dropping the power wedge on an Axis, you will just hit wedge down and it's gonna put it all the way down into lift mode and then you would wedge up until you get to the number that you want, until uh, you get to whatever number you were looking for. And you can do that while you're moving. So somebody's back there and they try one and they don't really, they want, they want more, more push, they want it steeper. Then you can go to two, you can do it on the fly while somebody's back there. So a couple things to keep in mind when you're actively using the wedge, um, just some troubleshooting uh, ideas for you. So say you're using the wedge and the boat is sitting at a really bad angle. You have a lot of bow rise and maybe the wake is looking really washed out. Like it's not really cleaning up like you're used to. That is a sign that you have too much weight in the back of the boat. You're using too much wedge. You can do one of two things. You can drain some of your ballast if you want to, or I mean, if you have a lot of people in the back of the boat, that might be the best option. Or you can just change, you know, on the on the wake, maybe instead of being in a four or a five, you're at a two or a three. You're still gonna get a really awesome wake, but it's gonna be clean and nice. So if you find that it's really messy and choppy at the top of the wake, it's just not cleaning up like what you're used to seeing, uh, use a little bit less wedge, drain some ballast, move people up front, just get a little you just have too much weight in the back of the boat another thing that is a, a little bit different when you're putting the wedge up or just something to think about when you're putting the wedge up you want to make sure that you're moving in idle you don't want to be going too fast as long as you're idling and the boat is reading that you're going faster than one one and a half one miles per hour if it's reading that then you're going to be able to put it up all the way into the stow position that's a safety feature. They don't want you having people swimming around back there still climbing in the boat and you're the driver putting the wedge up where it locks into place. They don't want fingers and toes back there when you're doing that. So it's a safety feature and it's, I mean, it's easy. Just idle, put the wedge up and then it stows and then you can go like you normally would. So that's the power wedge. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I'd love to help out however I can. If you like this video, go ahead and hit like. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. We're going to be putting them out all throughout the summertime. Thanks, see you next time.